Hello, my name is Alan Hilton. I'm the head golf professional here at Founders Club at the clubs at St. James and welcome to this month's Golf Tip of the Month. Today we're going to go over three practice games to do to make practice a little bit more fun. Uh, we're going to do some chipping here and what I like to do when I practice is create a little game for myself so practice isn't so boring. Uh, practice can be pretty mundane for anyone uh, so let's get started. So the, the first little game is for someone who's really struggles with their chipping. Uh, this is not an instructional video, but if you're struggling with chipping, go see one of our many PGA professionals and get a good chipping lesson. And this is a good one to practice when you lead that lesson. So if you're working on your technique, the first thing to do is to pick a really easy hole location. And I've picked a hole here that's downhill to the hole and uphill at the hole. The reason you pick an easy hole location is because if you're struggling with your chipping, you want to be really proficient at the easy shots. You don't want to practice a really difficult shot and lower your confidence. You want something to build your confidence. And so I take six golf balls. You can do anywhere from eight to two. Uh, I like to keep it below 10 uh, just because it keeps you moving. It doesn't keep you in one spot too long. Um, and then uh, you just hit the same shot over and over again to this easy hole location and working strictly on your technique that you've gone over with your PGA professional. All right, so I'm gonna hit these six shots and here we go. Okay, so the second game is a really good one to practice because it's really good to simulate what you do on the golf course. Uh, we've got six hole locations here on the putting green at Founders Club. Obviously, if there's other golfers warming up and putting, then you need to be mindful. You may not be able to use the whole putting green, but in this case, we've got the green to ourselves. I've got six hole locations, and I'm a big uh, proponent of using a similar technique, but change the club to go different distances. Uh, and what that does is it simplifies it a little bit, uh, but it takes a little practice. So I've got my club selected for the different hole locations and you hit one ball to each hole and then you go up and put it out and see how many you can make the get up and down out of the six. So let's see how we do. So the first holes are really close. So I'm gonna use my most lofted wedge to start. And as the holes get longer, I'll use less loft to go farther across the green. Okay, so the last little game is one that kind of makes it a little more fun. Uh, and I like to do this one with students and for myself, is I take a, a shot uh, that I've hit a few times and I take the club that I would use for that particular shot and I, and I make myself to where I can't use it. And so the shot I used in the very first drill, I used a pitching wedge to chip to that hole. And so what I'm gonna do is I've got a lob wedge, an eight iron and a hybrid and I'm gonna hit two balls each to that same hole. And what this does is it allows you to be a little more creative and also maybe give you some other options that you wouldn't think of on the golf course. It's kind of a unique practice drill, uh, but it's one that gets your creative mind working instead of thinking so much about uh, technique. You gotta have a balance between analyzing your technique versus having feel with the shot. So this gives you a little creativity. You can use any club, you can putt it, uh, and it just makes you think about, realize there's more options to play a shot. So let's, let's give it a shot and see what happens. I'm gonna start with most loft and then work down.
So as you can see, not every time, but you can get the ball close with a lot of different clubs. So I'd advise you to experiment a little bit. Try some different clubs. Don't be stuck chipping or hitting pitch shots with the same club all the time. Experiment with some different options. And uh, if you need help, obviously go see one of your PGA pros here at the clubs at St. James. Hope you enjoyed this month's golf tip of the month. We'll see you next month.